What's going on folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on Sunday evening, November 1st, 2020, 8, 11 p.m. with the end of the daylight savings time taking place last night, well, early this morning at 2 a.m. So, well, technically, if they stop messing around with the time, it's 9 o'clock. We'll see how they do uh, in the springtime when it comes to spring forward and mess up all of our clocks again. Latest earthquake on the globe there, a 2.5 earthquake striking out there around the Baja, California area. You can see that striking out there just uh, south of the border. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity taking place around the globe today. You can see some older earthquake activity in the red color rings there. But as uh, far as like any major movement goes on, it's pretty quiet, folks. It's a very, very quiet uh, day today. Let's go ahead and check out the, uh, well, hold on one second here. Let's check out the all magnitude quakes here from the USGS. And uh, there you can see that 2.5 there down in the uh, Baja California region, well south of the party town of Tijuana in Mexicali, out there in the uh, Sierra San Pedro Martin Mountains. About uh, 6.2 kilometers below the surface there for that 2.5. Up here to the north, not a whole lot of 2.5 and above. We have to switch over once again <clears throat> to the all magnitudes here. And even then, we're looking at pretty quiet activity. I mean, this is well, well below quiet activity uh, as far as average goes when it comes to uh, earthquake activity. 2.1 near Goldfield, well south of the aftershock sequence line here northwest of Tonopah this is kind of an oddball earthquake activity out there I'll have to keep an eye on that it's 14 kilometers deep so kind of deep out there in the desert but looking at the overall activity out here pretty quiet a little small microquake near Urindale Irin I'll go ahead and spit that out California about 12 kilometers below the surface there east of the Los Angeles metropolitan jungle out there the concrete jungle but uh, like I said overall folks we're looking at major quiet activity out there taking place um, up here in Seattle some microquakes taking uh, place out there around the Strait of Juan de Fuca the Strait of Juan de Fuca right the Juan de Fuca plate out there going underneath the uh, North American plate creating a major seismic hazard out there for the folks living among the beautiful Washington and Oregon, Northern California coastline. Those folks don't even know what's coming to them uh, when it does happen. It's going to be a catastrophic event, no doubt. But just some microquakes taking place up there north of uh, Seattle. Montana region showing a little swarm of activity out there, way away from Yellowstone. Just a sequence of quakes out here. Southeast of Lincoln. Let's see the uh, Helena, Montana region over here to the southeast. Nothing big, just uh, what we're we looking at about four earthquakes or so in that region. But uh, still, when we see an increase in just a, all of a sudden earthquakes there, I uh, kind of have to pay attention out there. But no doubt, mountain rains, mountain ranges out there uh, within that earthquake area. Uh, what else we got taking place out here? Pretty quiet, folks. Like I mentioned, global earthquake activity. Alaska still uh, still swarming. But take a look. Take a look at the Pacific area. I mean, look all throughout the Japan region, west part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire, in in through the uh, Solomon Islands area into Fiji. It's absent of earthquake activity. Check it out, folks. I mean, this is very odd for um, 24 hours of earthquake activity. I mean, normally we would see something, but uh, it's very, very quiet. Uh, some remainder aftershock activity there around the Turkey area, Greece region. Uh, following that large earthquake there a couple days ago overall though but uh, it's pretty quiet I'm not even joking it's uh, a little bit eerie out there 
As far as the San Andreas fault system here, there's a little spike of an earthquake right there. 1.7 microquake there. The depth of this earthquake pretty deep, about 18 kilometers there. I mean, it's not super deep, but when it comes to the plate tectonics there, it's a little bit deeper than average as far as earthquake activity goes. So some potential movement going on down here in Southern California on the, uh, on the deep scale. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, let's check this out. Pretty quiet out here along the eastern part of the park. Over here towards Maple Creek, some microquakes going on there. Not a whole huge swarm, but some microquakes indeed taking place out there. Every single one of these little spikes, a very small earthquake. Uh, probably, I'm guessing most of these are probably below 1.5. Maybe these right here are 2.0. These little uh, red signature earthquakes there. But uh, anything below that we're looking at, uh, well, definitely well below 2.0. Um, 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 let's see what's going on here, folks. <clears throat> yeah, pretty quiet. It's, it's not even funny. Tremor map out here along the Pacific Northwest. Even so, uh, it's pretty quiet out here as well. 191 epicenters of tremor, 121, I'm sorry, epicenters of tremor out there along the Washington, Oregon area, Southern Oregon, and into parts of Northern California as well, right around the Shasta Lake area. Mount Shasta sits way up here to the north, so nothing going on out there at that 14,000 foot summit there at Mount Shasta. rice rocket um let's see what else we got going on here folks solar activity let's go ahead and check that real quick here uh, it's pretty quiet far as the facing side of the earth goes or facing side of the sun goes those uh sunspots are definitely uh on the other side now not affecting us globally so uh no x flares no no uh, C flares or any type of M flares to worry about. They do have a 5% risk of C flares, but uh, that, uh, that's pretty pretty low when it comes to solar activity. All right, folks, uh, let's see what we got global or the far as the uh, today in earthquake history goes. Back in November 1st of 1947, way, 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 way before I was born, a 7.3 7.3 earthquake central peru region creating uh, some major havoc down there much much stronger quakes can no doubt take place here along this plate boundary but uh, this is well inland right around the uh well it looks like central Palu central peru area uh, definitely creating some havoc down there back in 1947 uh in 1935 even a little bit further back we're looking at m 6.2 there in canada of all places uh, damage was relatively slight in the epicenter region large largely because of uh sparsely of population the earthquake was felt over an area of uh nearly two million six hundred thousand square kilometers in the united states and canada 1755 uh, i'm really surprised that we can go back and, and estimate the uh, earthquakes there from that much time ago but 1755 an m 8.7 magnitude earthquake there in portugal portugal uh some major fatalities right there unfortunately that's that's pretty huge one of the world's most destructive earthquakes this earthquake occurred on all saints day uh wow Many who sought safety on the river, uh, on the riverfront, were drowned by a large tsunami. Yikes. That's uh, some pretty crazy stuff there. M8.7, folks. So It's good to look at history back there to realize um, the potential. Um, the potential for plate tectonics uh, affecting your life and your region. You know, your uh, overall, your safety out there. There's a lot that uh, history covers, and there's a lot that history doesn't cover. So it's kind of why I'm uh, 
you know, I, I kind of do this earth, earthquake history day, you know, back on this date. Just to take a look at uh, where some major events took place there, according to the USGS. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, more earthquakes took place um, on this date. But uh, they, they kind of list the, the main ones here. And these are pretty some pretty specific ones there. So uh, what else we got here, folks? not a lot going on i mean it's pretty quiet out there folks uh definitely uh a little bit eerie i've seen a couple comments there on my uh halloween or my, at least my last update video there uh talking about uh, uh congratulations on celebrating the devil's day i um i'm, I'm not for sure what to say about that because specifically the reason why i went out you know the reason why a lot of folks go out uh, and the reason why i went out as a kid was to uh well just to get candy right to know your neighbors to socialize a little bit as a young kid as neighbors you know go trick-or-treating the devil's day you know there's a lot of satanic a lot of uh witchcraft stuff going on along the uh Halloween event, but uh, I don't I don't consider that in my brain because uh, I don't believe in that So, uh, you know When I said last night basically when I was saying why I went out trick-or-treating is basically for the kids so that they can enjoy stuff like that they can enjoy um, knocking on people's houses, seeing who these folks are, um, communicating, getting a social, uh, a sense of socialization there. Um, and that's what it's all about. Not about worshiping the devil, not about witchcraft, not about any of that BS. So that's what I have to say to those comments out there. It's just, it's just, uh, I didn't know what to say. It's, there's a lot of folks out there recently that, uh, are commenting about a lot of lot of negative stuff out there all right folks I'm out of here have a good night uh, peace out 4.4 uh, .4 striking up there in Alaska just when we said it was starting to you know get very 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 quiet out here we're seeing a, a pretty good increase in activity out there in Alaska Stay safe. Some major changes coming up, folks.